Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not uh, this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh-uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Alright, what's going on everybody? Kazam Senza here, bringing you back some more Grand Theft Auto 4 main story missions. This is the mission called Blood Brothers. Yes. In this mission, you have to make a, uh, a decision between killing Derek or Francis. Now, of course, on your way, to a phone call, we have there is phone call. Frankie arranged to meet me at the park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. You know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. If you can't enable stuff, tell us the question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery. Shit! Look after me, Nico. Alright. There you go, so that's it, you get a phone call and now you just have to make a decision between killing Derek or Francis. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for the fratricide. side. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I need to get. Don't worry. Alright, there you go. So, that's it. So, you just had to make your way into the... Uh, the window platform, so to get access to there, go at the side here, through all these uh, construction materials that was there, basically the scaffolding, and here's the window platform. Cleaner. Now let's get up. Get up. Onto the roof. And get in position. Get in position right here. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. 
Alright, there you go. So that's your decision making. Kill Derek or Francis. Now, of course. There's one of these two. Now, you just have to think about who you need to kill. Now, basically, if you kill Francis. This guy, you will get no benefit whatsoever in the future of the game. But, uh, instead, if you kill Derek. You will get an extra 20 grand if you put pressure on Francis to kill Derek. And you would, um get more help from Francis in the future. So to put pressure on Francis, make sure you kill him. No, not kill him, but make sure you call him. Give him that phone call. Just a second here, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? Yes, sir. Give me the raise. That might help. All right, then. Call it a bonus. Make this happen. Okay, so that's the pressure I was talking about. Call him. And then he will give you an extra prize money, which you'll find out in the future. Ho ho ho. In the head. I'm a police officer. Come on, clear the area. Clear the area. Derek. Shit. He's my brother. Pardon. Alright, that's it. There you go. Now, to finish off with this mission, just get out of the roof and just evacuate the area. Simple as that. And then you will pass with an extra that Francis will give you. A total of 20 grand, I believe. $20,000 he will give you for putting that pressure on him. So it's worth doing that. And uh, yeah, if you choose to keep Francis alive, he will be your, you know, Something for you to blackmail. So you could just keep calling him to get rid of stars or anything. Look at that, 20 grand already. In the pocket. And that's it. So if you keep on calling him when you're in trouble, he will get rid of the heat for you. So that's the advantage. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I could feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. Alright, there you go. A legitimate blackmail. That's it. That's that use. Alright, I'm Sam Tenzer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm out. Peace.